Oh, good morning. Welcome to mid February here. The old Polish farm. Eight o'clock in the morning because don't anticipate there'll be much to do. Uh, looks like decent weather for the day. You can get a little bit of coffee here. This stuff good. looking at my coffee supplies in the pantry the other day and I'm getting a little low I think I've got another bag of Kindio and then I'm out of uh, my stash of Colombian coffee so I'm gonna have to go take a look see what I can find here locally. Nice quiet morning. don't anticipate there will be a ton of things to do. Uh, can probably feed the cows. Maybe there might be milk. Let's take a look here. So what was it, 1,200, I think, that we can take with the uh, milk trailer? So yeah, I think we can take a, th a load of milk. We could probably mix up two, three mixer wagons of feed. used equipment a large mixer wagon came up at the uh towards the end of the day yesterday uh but i think it's too big and if we just stay on ours i think what we have well wow It is small. <laughs> Let's see. We do need to buy a planner. We need that by April. So we can probably hold out a little longer, see if it comes up used equipment. my breath for it. Maybe I should buy a chainsaw and some land at the edge of town. If I were to do logging, how would I get the logs to the sawmill? Uh, I think we fit 1600, not 12. Oh well. We already got it, so let's take it. Milk. Up to the dairy. Hold 
going up that hill very well. Eighteen seventy two. We could get the Ursus tractors on the console. That's a shame. I know there's a bit of PC only mods that are really good Polish equipment. But we've done pretty good on this uh, series. What I'll do is I'll mix up two here quick, then we'll go in the house, we'll take a look and see what's uh, what's going on with uh, used equipment and contracts, although I know in February there's not going to be any contracts really available. So we'll need four hay. One straw, yeah. I think. Or is it three hay and one straw? Drop that one <laughs> instead of throwing it. Um, take it from the same far end, I guess. Um, let's see.
each hay is 600. So, why do I have to think this through every time? Well, it was 25. Now, I think... I think too. Feed the chickens, maybe. Let's see if they'll take it. Looks like this could use a little maintenance. Good morning, chickens. A little bit of chicken feed. For you, maybe. And they took it all. Good deal. I probably could do less hay and more silage. I have so much silage, it seems like. Field limp open so I can see how much straw is going. And then these should be seven, 700. I want to give it 350. Whoops. Too much.
hope I didn't mess that up. That says it's totally my trashing. doing cows yeah I could probably use three or four more maybe I'll do that off camera let's go see what's uh, going on well I'm right here by contracts let's just look at it here nothing all right pop in the house we'll take a look see if we can uh, see anything for used equipment Did that baler go away and then come back? I don't know. All right, so nothing really used equipment either. Tell you what, I'll probably do a little of this off camera. I'll probably mix up two more, two, three more. Uh, well, we'll do two more and see where that gets us. It's easier to do even numbers. Uh, we'll keep an eye on used equipment throughout the day, but I'll probably see you uh, in February 3, at the end of February. Uh, you don't need to see me mix up more, <laughs> more mixer wagons of feed. So, yeah, unless uh, something comes up and use equipment, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> wasn't much going on. Uh, it's, it's the end of February now. Oh, forgot to make coffee this morning. Oh, darn it. Oh, well. Um, I mixed up two more of those small feed wagons with uh, Total Mix Ration and gave that to the cows yesterday. Off camera after, after I left you. Nothing really came up and used equipment, the like the the van, the express van. Uh, but other than that, yeah, nothing to speak of. It looks like we got snow in the forecast for a little bit later today, a near term forecast. We'll have to take a look at that. I don't think anything's going to be going on worth uh, getting too excited about. It's we're definitely. 
Definitely not going to have enough milk because we took some yesterday when it wasn't completely full. We'll see how the cow barn is on food. I think it was up around 50,000 liters in there yesterday. Probably could have took two, three, four more maybe, but wouldn't have anything to do today if it did that. So yeah, we're at 48. I think they ate a couple thousand. I notice we're getting low on our hay bales. But I suppose we'll have the opportunity to produce more here. Oh dear. You see them out there in our grass field? Also bolted. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. February. I think we can't do anything in this till April. Uh, we'll turn the we'll turn the greenhouse back on in April as well. So, yeah, I guess we get. Give me anything to do today. I've, I've been contemplating. We'll take a drive up to uh, up to this piece of woodland. I was thinking about. Oh man, I hate to start doing logging though. And it'd be like I think thirty thousand euros for the land. Let's check the used equipment quick and then we'll we'll go for a little drive. I think the land was like thirty thousand euros though, and I'd probably need some kind of trailer or chainsaw. And I don't know how quickly it'd pay off. <laughs> Nothing. Alright. No contracts, no used equipment. No prospects for anything interesting happening during this day. Perhaps even this episode. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. We'll go out here, we'll go by the market. We'll take a shortcut. Up towards the woods.
think, I don't know if this was the track here. Oh wow, I wonder if those logs are actual logs. Nah, I think they're decorations. So I think it's a small plot to my right. It's like 30,000. Man, I don't know. Doesn't look like a ton of wood in there. A lot of hardwood trees, which are difficult to kind of process, you know. I don't know. To what? Probably about 40 trees in here. Probably not even 30. I don't know. I don't think so. Not big on logging anyway. I don't think. I don't think that's something I want to get get involved in. I thought about it. But I don't think that's what we want to do. We'll just head back. I will probably, I don't know, off camera mix up a couple more <laughs> feed wagons and we'll get on into March. just defer it to March. I don't know. Think maybe we'll just wait till March. Do some more feed. Let's run the Z Tour 25K. It's been a while.
Take it for a little drive. We'll just go up to the top of the hill, come back down. Just exercising in it a little. That was fun. Been a while since we've done anything with that, so here you go. Alright, well I guess I'll go in and keep an eye on uh <laughs> use machinery. Maybe watch some TV. See what's going on in the world. News is usually pretty depressing though. Oh no. So yeah, I'll check back with you either later today or maybe it'll be March. Who knows? What's on? I feel like a kid waking up to see if they canceled school. It snowed. Most of the afternoon and into the evening yesterday, but none of it really accumulated. So, yeah, not really any snow to speak of on the ground. We're in March now. And I don't know. <laughs> We're getting through the winter. Um, not much going on take care of the cows and the chickens when needed we'll probably do some feed again today i don't know whether to do it on or off camera be honest with you oh forgot to get the light up by the on the porch there i mean how much feed mixing can you take I may just do it off camera. We'll end up fast forwarding through most of March. Take a look around, see what's going on. The uh, Lizard Santana 88 came up again, used. I think it's 47% off. They were still pushing to try and get me to buy that. It's come up about three times, you know. There's some stuff I've put in there that hasn't come up yet at all. I don't know. The game's trying to tell me something, but it's like still 27,000 euros, something like that. And yeah, not really worth it to me. Um, so, yeah, we'll just keep on keeping on. See how the cows are doing this morning. Slurry's getting pretty full, so that's that's getting to be a little bit of a concern. Food. So if I put two mixture wagons in, it'd take it up to 50 again. They could probably use four. Reproduction's at 40. 
reproductions of 70. Okay. What is that? Yeah, I'll probably come back out and do... I didn't look at milk closely. It's probably not enough yet. Let's take a look at used equipment quick. I can't use the spader for plowing if a plowing contract came up. Um, used equipment. Let's see what we got. Oh, a telehandler now. That'd be cool. All of our money. And what is that? That is a... Like a... What, like a grass pickup header? But it's only for grass. I've never... Yeah. I don't know what that does. If that cuts? Or if it just picks it up? It looks like it's got a cutter on it, doesn't it? Almost. I don't know. Never used it. Yeah, here it is. 45% off. So 27,000 euros. Nope. Okay. Uh, contracts. It's March. Who knows? Maybe. There is a weaving contract in field 53. You would make 92 euros if you borrowed the equipment. We could use our little weeder. Where's field 53? I'm tempted just for something to do. Something to do that's different. Why don't we take that? We'll use the, the 7745 turbo because it's got a cab on it. So we can stay warm. It's probably not a very big field. The things we do to entertain you. I'm going to just take a shortcut across my field here because I can. This, uh, this harrow is pretty wide, actually. What I want to do is I want to go up by WS Colonia. I called it WSR a while back. I got PGR on the brain. I'm going to turn the beacon on just because I'm extra wide. Trying to give people a heads up. We're going to go up the hill past WS Colonia here. And then uh, there's a track going to the left. Once we get up to the top of the hill. And the field's over that way. I'm going to turn that off now. I don't think we'll meet anybody on this, although it's possible. I think we're the only ones that drive the other way on this road. Come in here while we do. And I think it's like the second field in. 
this one's obviously got crop in it. I don't know if it's got crop in it or if it's just straight weeds right now. Looks like it's just straight weeds. This is, I think, wait, is this it or is that it? According to the mini map, it's this one right here. I guess we'll find out very quickly if it says you don't have access to this lamp. Got small weeds. Which we don't often see. Ooh, it's got stones in here. It's going to beat us up pretty good. Couple hundred euros is all this is gonna pay. <laughs> this is not even hardly worth it, but there's nothing else to do, so why not? I don't know if we've ever been able to see small weeds when we've weeded before, just because of I don't know why the way I play, the small weeds don't seem to show up visually and then boom they're medium weeds which can't use a weeder on so yeah it's something new for us to see and I wonder if it's given the fertilizing state for them as well interesting to check So what happens is I drive this, which is just a dog, like no acceleration whatsoever. And then I get in a T25 and I do the same button mashing behavior because this thing just doesn't get going. And when I'm in the T25, that thing will just take off like a rocket. We'll do two rounds, then we'll start heading back and forth, uh, running kind of east-west, I guess it almost looks like. I don't know if that's the long axis of the field. Well, this could be the long axis of the field right here, actually, but then it won't be. So I'm playing around a little bit on Alma, Missouri with my PS4, just kind of on my own for me, although I do this for me, I just share it with you, but uh, fields are pretty big on that. So I've had a couple of potential suggestions on how to get to Alma, Missouri. One was, and I talked about it, I think, a little bit, too, on, uh, I think, Ohio Farm. But I've got a twist on one of, the, one of the suggestions. One was, work one more into the rotation, one more Let's Play, that'd be four. Uh, which seems like a lot, and there's a lot of time between episodes. The other one was sell everything in Ohio and get up, or sell all the land in Ohio, get a low boy and move the uh, equipment down, which would be pretty interesting. So here's a, another option, that, kind of a variation of bringing a fourth one in is play it, uh, 
and time lapse it. So with the Share Factory software, I can do the Time Bender, which is what I use for time lapse. I think the fastest I can go is eight times speed. So if you rather than just time lapse the, uh, you know, some of the big farm work like harvesting a big field or whatever, just time lapse the whole thing the way like Chainsaw 100 does his stuff. I mean, you could play for an hour and a half and time lapse it down to like 10, 11 minutes. So I don't know. You know, like a, a three hour, three hours of gameplay would time lapse down to, well, I don't know. Let's just. 160 minutes, which would be what, two hours and 40 minutes. That'd be 20 minutes at eight times speed. So I don't know. It'd make editing a little easier, I think. Well, I haven't done it. I think that editing would be easier. You just do time lapse and maybe throw in occasional comments of explanation. You know, put a text on the screen saying, oh, okay, next I'm going to go do this or whatever. Or, yeah, we're looking for this piece of equipment or we're going to go buy that. But I don't know never done it that way might be an option interesting thing on the PS4 I had so many maps loaded downloaded that when I I was able to download Alma, Missouri but I could start a save game on it so I deleted another map. I think I had a few Polish maps. I think I deleted like Bantikow or something. Uh, I wasn't playing on it. I just got it to use as a uh, background when I was trying to figure out where to set up the farm to go get parts for the T25. We ended up doing that on Osada, which is a map by the same map maker as this map, Colonia. Uh, Bradjot G Play. And the main reason we used that is because, well, it looked a lot like this map. So it was a very seamless kind of trip, you know. We drove off the edge of this map and onto the edge of that map. And. Yeah, it looked pretty good when we did that. Sometimes I end up spending hours just to make an idea come to fruition. Like the uh, tractor pull on Ohio Farm. I think it. I spent about 16 hours setting that up <laughs> for what? 20 minutes over two episodes of actual tractor pull action. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how many hours it took me to set up the uh, the yard over in uh, Osada with the tractors on it. Not as long, not 16 hours. Okay, we're about done here. I'm gonna actually go to completion on this. It'll probably say uh, contract is complete. Oh, it'll be real small though. We'll we'll make sure all the weeds are visually gone off this field. Won't take nothing to make sure it looks good and we did a good job. 
Ooh, I don't want to get near crop. Careful, I got really close there. Yeah. See, one last pass with the arrows down and we should be good. I might leave just a hair if I park this just right. Now I'm going to miss a couple. I'll get them. I'll get them. The game is happy with what we've done, but I'm going to make sure we get every last weed out of here. There we go. I'm happier with that. So that field that we did over here that I liked so much, it is so expensive. I think it's like 130,000 euros, the one over there. With the terrain relief and the beautiful vistas and stuff. Yeah. I thought to myself, man, that'd be a good map to get, or a good map, a good field to buy. Because it'll be nice to... Uh, work in that field but it's pretty expensive let me go ahead collect on this contract here okay we got 195 euros there are like four fertilizing contracts available so we are gonna go peeking on for safety we are extra wide give me some space here I'll come down But yeah, the floodgates have opened, and I was complaining about how much slurry we had, so yeah, we're going to go do some fertilizing. Get rid of some of that slurry. Oh, I probably should turn that off till I'm done. We'll, uh, we'll cut across the field again. We got quite a bit of slurry, so I'm going to take a look at those contracts, and then, uh, yeah, maybe we'll do those. We'll probably time-lapse it, just because we've gone through a few days already in this episode. I think we're on the third day. Not sure how much time we've spent doing that weeding. close to the greenhouse, but it's alright, I think. We'll use Big Blue. And, yeah, we'll do some slurry spreading. don't have a whole lot of uh, time to time lapse this stuff in so let's just grab grab it and go here the tractors fun almost in the way. Alright, I gotta figure out where I'm going. Okay, so we took field 6 and 11. 
11's right up by Conrad's place, and 6 is kind of over more towards uh, Merrick's. There's like a, a farm over there where we borrowed the portrait um, forge harvester. All right, so yeah, I'm going to have to stop talking and start fast forwarding. <laughs> so enjoy the time lapse. I think uh, I think that's it for both those fields. We collect on those. So that was about 2,100 euros right there. There are some more fields to do. They're pretty small. Maybe I'll get those done. I'll probably do them off camera. We're almost at noon time. Uh, it's probably enough for March one, at least for uh, on camera work. Maybe we'll do those other two fields off. Uh, probably out of time for the episode. I appreciate you hanging out with me here in Colonia at the old Polish farm. Uh, I know your time is valuable to you. I appreciate you chose to spend a little of it here with me. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. And if you don't subscribe yet, why not? It don't cost nothing. We'll see you next time.